Welcome everyone, I'm Tim and this is the controller. Thanks for clicking on Fallout 4 No Armor, where last time we traveled across the Commonwealth and made our way mostly to the castle as we are going to be taking on taking independence with the Minutemen today. Luckily, we were able to escape the very, very feared vertebrate crashes and actually took on a fair amount of legendary enemies and used up a ton of ammunition. So hopefully that won't be an issue for actually dealing with the Mirelurks, but we will have to wait and see. And with that, I think it is time to just make our way right on over to the Minutemen and give them a little chatting up to see what we can do. <coughs> there we go. Talk to the Minutemen. And we are going to be going with the drawing the Mirelurks out of the castle. Mainly just so hopefully that the Mirelurks target them instead of me. There are a few different options of which we can go about it. But I think that is probably going to be the best option. And we are over encumbered once again. But that is because the psycho buff has worn off. So just need to top back up on that. Which, there we have it. there we go make sure fragmentation grenades are set and this is part of the reason why i have multiple weapons like this combat rifle 155 shots that's decent all things considered so we are going to be dealing with that got one way across the line I I got something over here. throw a couple in Got the level up, which actually I'm going to take right now. As we are definitely going to be wanting our explosives up a little bit more. So we are going to take Demo Expert rank number two, 50% more damage. And getting that throwing arc could actually really come in handy as well. Now I know they said that we were looked all clear. Clearly, that is not going to be the case. They're just going to wait for me to expose myself once again. Actually, I think was a decent throw. Yes. Killed a little bit more. Just do a terrible shot, because why not? What happens if I throw one in blind? Nothing. Man, maybe I can just take them all out myself. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Get more experience that way. And now just detected. They feel good about that. They're moving in. We'll get some eggs to hatch. There's going to be a few scattered around. But before we go in. And yeah, they can. Oh, dog meat, you scared me. They can deal with those little munchkins. And I do believe. The Mirelurk Queen comes in from. Is it right down here? No. That is going to be too steep of a spot for her to come in. I know there's a couple different openings. So, Myrler Queen will come in from down here. Hopefully, he's not barking at the Myrler Queen. But we do have a Nuka Grenade, which is going to be really handy if need be. But the main thing is, we have these bottle cap mines. So, oh crap, it says, might be coming on. So the queen should be coming up right here. And if that fails, the queen is going to be wanting to come in right through this main opening. 
here. So if we just lay down a ton of mines, hopefully this will have better success rate than what it did with the courser because that did not work whatsoever. And that one just vanished into the abyss. Hungry again, no big deal. We can deal with that now. Very fitting to take some roasted Mirelurk meat. So we can destroy these eggs just like this. Which uses up a lot of ammunition. Sorry, dog meat. You're in my way. Two more. Lots of different ones scattered around. We can just get them to spawn. Or I could take them, but I don't need to, really. Saves on ammunition, but ammo is cheap. I mean, not like I'm having an ammunition shortage or anything like that. <laughs> no, that's not accurate. I have plenty of 50 kale. Yep. They pop out. They run. Try to kill the other guy. That's exactly what I want. Just gain a little experience. The main thing is going to be dealing with Mirelurks. Not just any Mirelurk. Mirelurk Queen, which I believe will be yeah, spawning. Does it? She spawn right there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. If she spawns right there, that'd be bad news bears. Oh, now I'm second guessing myself. Now I'm second guessing myself. So we can at least damage her a little bit if she does, in fact come out of here what else do i have for mines ah got six cryo mines that'll do pretty good work too slower down because i really want to kill her in one blow if at all possible and i think i did see that i had a plasma mine too perfect if that doesn't kill her, that should be pretty close if she comes in this way. But I still think it's from the other direction. Just a few more egg clutches to go. And this will be all taken care of. What the hell was that? Okay, so that's the Mirelark Queen coming. And... But Got yeah, hatchlings coming too. I don't want to be hit from behind with them either all that much. Hey! She died! Cool. Where did she come in at? Not from over there, but... Oh! There the Mirelurk Queen died. Okay. I am so, so happy that I decided to lay mines down here. I bet you guys were all <laughs> saying, Tim, all right. put mines work, down. People. What are you well, doing? Are That's the yet. wrong the entrance. And only one minute man died, it looks like. Any remaining or eggs you find. That was <laughs> very, very lucky to get that last thing. Oh, nice. You got to love it. You gotta love just the last minute planning. That's the best way to do it. That's absolutely the best way to do it. And. Yep. Look at there. We got the bottle cap mines here. Should have one more scattered around somewhere. Yes, right there. 
which would have been enough to take her out, I'm sure, as well. And we have all of these remaining mines over here to disarm and take. That was... I'm glad... I am glad I all of a sudden... Once I got in there, it just seemed like that was the correct location to go, not this one. Ooh, is there another one hidden in the landscape? Might have taken them all. Very, very nice. So now we have to set up. Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. I'm gonna go see what else is left around this old place. Oh, we'll we'll see. Excellent. We'll take a guns and bullets. Getting that ballistic weapons permanently doing an additional five percent critical damage. We got more, more randomly popping up. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Where are you shooting up top, probably? We are going to have to build a little bit of power. Ooh, got a proper Marler up there. Good boy, dog meat. Way to go up. Yes, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's another one in here. Ooh, dog meat sounds vicious with his growling. You gotta love it. Just keep clearing out, which we could have so much Mirelurk meat if we wanted to go around, cook it all up. You could gain a lot of experience just by grabbing all these, if, if you could light it up. Mirelurk meat hatchlings. Same thing with the Mirelurk eggs. Soft shell, regular. All of that would work out really, really well. But we don't really need that. It would be really nice if they had some 50 kale laying around. But other than that... Things should be looking pretty good. There we go. Powered on up. We decided, well, I decided to run a little power from the interior, get the lights lit up, and have it hooked up to this switch now for over here getting this radio transmitter done up before we talk to Preston should drink up make sure we are properly hydrated once again hey there wow we really did it I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help in the meantime make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it that can only help our cause it's 8 get a little bit more experience from that and talk to Preston I kind of want to send him back to Hangman's Alley, if at all possible. This is now a settlement for us. I can have dog meat stay here. Send Preston back to Hangman's Alley. And we did have another quest pop up of helping the people of Oberlin Station. So we got Raider Troubles. Be interesting to talk to them, see what they have as well. But we are looking at, we still can go complete trade craft by going talking to deacon at old north church and we have the cleansing the commonwealth where we need to report back to knight reese so since we just traveled across the commonwealth proper i think it's only fitting to swim on back up to the old north church from here well i thought about helping out preston here and sending him to Hangman's Alley, but he just walked across a Marlurk Razor Claw. It probably would behoove me to just plain take that one out. Maybe Preston will get involved, help out just a little bit. But Razor Claw, of course he's not. Why would he help out? He's just a lame old minute man. Get the Marlurks down. Oh, and hey, look at that. 
Got a hunter, but that razor claw is, in fact, going after. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hunters have projectiles. We'll be fine. I'm sure of it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, no. I shot dog meat. That will be less fine. That will be less fine. I'm so sorry, boy. I am the worst companion in the world. Heal him already. I would, I would not. I wouldn't blame you if you just left me, left me here to die at some point. Maybe we can blow up Preston. Well, it didn't kill Preston. We can get some easy shots on the shell. Gain a little bit more experience. We're actually most of the way up to level... Well, hello there. We're actually most of the way up to level 40, which at level 40 opens up Lone Wanderer rank 3, which is huge, getting that plus 25%. Ooh, ooh. No, just a gas canister. I don't see a hidden trap. Now, the real question here. We are going to be dealing with Tradecraft. We will meet up with Deacon. But we're at the castle on the south side. We'll swim up around... Swim all the way up back to the Old North Church. That is a long way to swim. It is 9.13 a.m. I am curious how long that actually takes for swimming. So, put the gun away. Here goes nothing. Let's see how long. We are coming up on land ho. Still hidden. Everything is looking good. It is only 10.09 a.m. So Ryan here is an expertly fast swimmer. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it might. Raid Calf complete 390 XP and officially a part of the railroad, which I'm not going to want to be a part of the railroad <gasps> when it's all said and done. But that is quite all right. Now we just have to give Carrington the prototype or give the prototype, Carrington prototype to the doctor. And then we can eat all of those delicious noodle cups that they have in here before going to talk to the Brotherhood. Now that we are back outside from the railroad, I think it could be time to say talk to Tinker Tom. We did, in fact, buy just a little bit more ammunition. He was carrying 20 rounds for my 50 cal, so we have that. But in addition to that, we also have picked up the gas... Gas rifle? Goss rifle. One of these bad boys. So, does 297 damage. Does require a charge up to utilize... Is that somebody right there? It just might be. So this is a gun that can really pack a wallop if we so need it. Hopefully, we can just keep running with this explosive 50 cal because that's more fun. And yes, it is somebody. Now the question becomes, are they friendly or are they not friendly? The answer not friendly so we do have this let's give that a the old go very very nice so it does require a little bit of a charge up to use no big deal i do believe in vats it automatically goes to a hundred percent charge before actually it does the firing which is very nice indeed it was just, in fact, one basic raider. Now, we will be going to 
talk to the Brotherhood. But we are overtired, and we're basically going to be walking past Hangman's Alley, so it actually makes a lot of sense to just take a little bit of our rest right now. Do you hear? What's that? Yes, I was going to say, do you hear a vertebird? And the vertebird has crashed, because why not? Right? Or did it... Are there multiple vertebrates? Oh boy, sounds close. Let's just boogie on back to Hangman's Alley. We should be nice and sheltered there. Can still hear the vertebrate a little bit in the background, but... Looky what we have here. So, Oberlin Station is having trouble with raiders. One would have guessed that this you know backstreet apparel has actually become infested with raiders once again so hopefully just so hopefully we can take these bad boys out which i really should save ammunition for my 50 cal because i like it so much better than even just this basic sniper plasma rifle that was a terrible shot not sure how that hit but we will take it so if everything is the same as before that means there will be one more person that's guarding the front door to extinguish But it doesn't appear to be that way. And seeing the 556, we actually do have a pretty decent assault rifle. I am curious if that can get improved at the workbench, if that would be a viable weapon instead of my 308 combat rifle. Because that thing, it gets a lot of shots off in VATS, but it is just plain falling behind on the actual damage output. It feels good to have a good rest, well-rested bonus. And there, a beautiful giddy-up buttercup that we had gathered up at the Atomatoys. Now is a nice staple decoration for in Hangman's Alley. And as we head on over to Oberlin Station, I think we want to just kind of go chat with them, get the actual quest as once again, assuming that it is Backstreet Apparel. Just a couple scavengers, no big deal. One dead. Bad shot. Decent shot, but missed. There, that's a better shot. Oh, you tanked that. Well done. Should start using the plasma a little bit more. Have a little bit more of that along. And... Ooh, that looks like a tough whatever that is robot of some kind pretty sounds like a lot of fighting going on and there is a robot so does that mean we haven't Unlocked Automatron. Just a random Mr. Gutsy. Hidden, but I'm not going to take that for granted. Although it does appear as though this Mr. Gutsy did, in fact, win. And we have a Protectron walking through the door. Oh, blast. Oh, but very nice. Mysterious Stranger coming in to finish the Protectron off. I actually really like the Mysterious Stranger. It doesn't pop up all that often, but when he does, it is just so glorious. Just so much fun. I love it. Love it, love it. 
So it is in fact a little bit different of a mission. I was just kind of guessed it would be Backstreet Apparel as they had respawned in. However, it is in fact Hardware Town, another location pretty nearby, which if Backstreet Apparel has regened and now Hardware Town has regened, that now means that we are to the point of where on survival mode, we are to potentially more higher level enemies popping back into different locations, which is kind of exciting and kind of nerve wracking all together because we have been dealing with a few higher level super mutants and they're actually quite tough. But I am excited to have more enemies dotted around because who doesn't love a good challenge? So the question now becomes, how much has respawned back in? Are there more bugs, but higher level bugs at like this house here? Maybe still eating on that dead corpse. But it does not appear as though that is the case. So some stuff has regened back in. And other places have not. Now, if only I could fully remember where exactly I went through, that would be best case scenario. Now, I'm not sure if Hardware Town is just going to be a few raiders, few individuals, or if it's going to be, if they're going to try to do another, like, bait and switch. Looks like that truck might be able to blow up. And level up. You know what that means. Yes. Yes, indeed. Level 40. Lone Wander. Rank 3. 25% more damage. That is going to be huge for me. Absolutely huge. And then Lone Wanderer. Rank 4. Really isn't all that great. 25 more action points. It's, you know, nice to have. But... Oh, not all that important, but level 40. Boy, does it feel to be good at... Boy, does it feel good to be at level 40. Come on. Maybe I should just vat since they are right in front of my face. And miss. Reload and miss again. Yes. How about I just miss every single shot? That's better and better. Yeah, I'm really excited. To be level 40, no armor. Mmm. That just it tastes good. Just plain tastes good. Dog meat found an enemy. Oh, Gunner. Oh, hello. Why is there a Gunner outside of Hardware Town? What are you doing here? And why are you by yourself? It's a uh, a little bit interesting. So, Raider Psycho. Feels though I'm so close to being able to tick off that building, but not quite from that angle at least. I should just go right into Hardware Town, but I'm getting distracted because I have a location not marked off that I feel like I should have had marked off by now. Just a skirmisher. Can get a couple shots in the torso for him. Three and a half sneak damage. You gotta love it. And we have that just a basic turret. 
which you would also think that that would take out a super mutant. But I digress. It is time to just go in guns blaze in hardware town. One would assume that they'll all be in the back because that is where the good stuff is and interesting. Could have swore they said they are dealing with raiders. That is a gunner corporal right there. Yeah, kill the raiders in Hardware Town. That is a gunner. That is game. You are just flat out wrong. Yeah. Just got a stick. Hasn't seen me yet. Now they do. Get some good Vats defense. Ooh, still in danger. Maybe I should yeah, back out a little bit and get jump scared. I'm glad he only had just a measly security baton. And there we go. We got it. Shotgun shells. So, yeah, everything has more or less regened. Very nice. You gotta love it. Get some medics, psycho. You don't need the shotgun shells. Could loot up this place proper again, but I don't really think I am going to need to overall. Just head on back out the back. Yeah, this is just plain confusing to me there were raiders in the back a gunner in the front and gunners inside all called raiders maybe just maybe the gunners are starting to employ raiders as their rear detachment that's what we'll say has happened Look at these ghouls running in. Ooh, I should go for the closer one, though. Ooh, swing and a miss. Just trying to run back on the train. Oh, don't talk. Shoot. Got another one going to be leaping at me. Lucky they are basic. Did get a swing in at me. Did hit me just a little bit. Just was going to say, I am just was running back along the train tracks head into Oberlin station which super super close there to turn in the quest back to them but you know lucky that it wasn't anything worse than just a few basic ghouls and that is one reason why I when I'm sprinting I always run with my gun out and not tucked away one less step to do for that I no sense of drinking my own purified water when there's a perfectly functional water pump here to get properly hydrated just to gain a little bit more experience there we go gain a little bit of money and now we just have to report back to Preston which Preston did in fact go back to hangman's alley which I'm very thankful about that. It would be an absolute disaster and just plain tough to constantly be running back to talk to him if he was all the way at the castle. Now, we are close to the Cambridge Police Station. We can just talk, jump on in, talk to Night Reese, maybe come across something of a random spawn coming in. 
You never know. We are close by to where that happens. But it appears as though nothing is shaking out at this point. There's plenty more locations out there that need clearing. Whenever you're ready for another op, you know where to find me. I'm ready. Good answer. Don't come back. Ah, Suffolk County Charter School. Very, very nice. You gotta love schools. We can just do a quick look on the map here. And that is a little bit further south once again. And that is close by the Fallon's Department Store, which Scribe Halen wants me to go to. So, we are going to be heading back into the Glowing Sea. And I think those are going to be two quest locations that just make too much sense not to hit on our way. Now, lastly, we can officially talk to Preston, gain our experience for helping out Overland. Hello, sir. Nice 286 at the moment. And I'll tell you what, I have felt like chicken running around without my head this episode feels like i've just been going all over the place and just back and forth back and forth to take out mylerks to take out raiders to take out gunners and more mylerks and the mylerk queen that was so nice to have been able to take care of the castle and now be officially back hangman's alley and have slightly more ammunition but that is definitely going to need to be addressed here shortly before heading to the glowing sea which as just talked about with knight reese and scribe halen both sending me down south to the fallon department store and also for the school i think it's time to head back to the glowing sea and before we do that we are certainly going to need to go to diamond city and buy some more ammunition because this is just plain cutting it way way too close but before we do that can get a good night's sleep and hopefully we will be prepared and ready for the sheer terror that is going to grip me fully as i'm trying to run through the glowing sea but that will probably be in a couple episodes from now so, as always, thanks for joining and thanks for watching. And until next time, powering off.